Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, this video is not going to be very deep, very informative. It's more of a more more of an answer to to a comment that was made on one of my past videos. The video in question is regarding slats, how they work, a view inside. Looking at those slats on the leading edge of a of a wing. Um, one of the comments that was made is uh, as, as I was walking through showing and explaining how the leading edge slats of the aircraft or at least that particular aircraft worked um, the comment I, I was pointing at the wing structure and I referred to as the wing box and I knocked on the wing box here in the center section and the comment the commenter um, corrected me somewhat correctly but but not in this particular case it corrected me saying that I confused the uh, the the wing box I called this the section of the wing the wing box when it should have been called the center box and that uh, that would be correct for other aircrafts that have a, a dedicated center box and the wing is in three sections where you have an outer section of the wing And then you have a left wing and a right wing. This would be your center box. But in this particular case, in this aircraft, at least the one that I showed in the video uh, regarding the slats, it's more of this design where the wing is is one solid piece. Not solid piece in the sense that it's one hung, one solid block. It is made up of many, many part pieces. As you can see here, the wing is, is hollow. As a matter of fact, is this here, th this whole thing is one big fuel tank. So the wing is hollow. You can see here, this is where the fuel tank stops. Starts here. And all of this is fuel tank. This is all full of fuel. All the way out to the other end of the wing, the right wing. So obviously the wing is not solid, but it's made, of one, made up to be one complete assembly. Meaning that the center box is the wing box. There's only one box between the front spar the rear spar and all that all this is one solid assembly you cannot separate it into smaller components like other bigger airplanes do so when, when i in, in my video when i knocked on, on the scent what would be called the, the center box here this is called the wing box in this particular airplane this well the one in this picture here is a is a challenger 605 the one on the slats video was a global um, bigger airplane but but still the same wing design same same uh, you cannot split the wing into three smaller components like you can in other airplanes so anywhere in the wing you can call it the wing box and then you add leading edges and, and flaps and ailerons and everything all the accessories um, to it but this whole thing is called, in this particular aircraft, the wing box. And that's what I was referring to when I knocked over here. Uh, and now it brings me to a part two of his comment. That uh, he said that leading edge slats increase angle of attack. And I don't think that's the case. And let me, uh, let me, let's talk about that now. Angle of attack is defined as, let's say, let's draw an airfoil. Angle of attack is the angle between the cord of the wing. Cord of the wing is, is an imaginary, it's a straight line, imaginary line, going from the leading edge to the trailing edge. That line is your cord line. Relative wind is the direction of the wind relative to the wing. The difference between that cord line and your, the direction, the wind direction, that's your angle of attack. In this case here, you would have an angle of attack of zero. If you increase your angle of attack, your cord line is now from leading edge to trailing edge. That would be your cord line. And keeping the wind relative wind direction 
the same in that direction. Now the difference between the chord line and the relative wind direction, this is your angle of attack. Now, how does that relate to uh, leading edge slats? And do leading edge slats increase angle of attack? Let's look at a wing. Let's exaggerate it a little more. Let's look at a wing and let's, la let's add a leading edge slat. In this case, it's retracted. This, from leading edge to trailing edge, that is your chord line. Without changing anything else, not the aircraft's attitude or the wing overall angle of attack, without changing any other parameters or deploying flaps or anything, if I extend the uh, leading edge slats, they would move forward and down, so they would end up somewhere, somewhere here. So this would be the new position of the leading edge slats. So now this is still your leading edge. So if you look at the previous position, the cord was here. Well, we follow the same definition. The leading edge is now here with the slats deployed. So guess what? You can draw a line from here to, to from your leading edge to your trailing edge, and your cord line is now this. Look at the difference between this cord line and this cord line. If you draw, if you add it to this picture, if you add the wind direction, look at this cord line versus this cord line. Which one has a lower angle of attack? Lower angle of attack is with the leading edge slats deployed. Now, very rarely do you have slats deployed without flaps because normally when the, when you deploy the slats, they're, they're even coupled with the flaps on mo most uh, large airplanes. You can you most of the time you have one handle for for activating both. One one, one lever for activating both uh, flaps, leading uh, uh, trailing edge flaps and leading edge slats get deployed by the same handle. Most cases, not all cases. So, to, for slow flight, the point of the slat is to increase the wing area and to change the camber of the wing because now you're going from this profile airfoil to this profile airfoil and to that you add trailing edge flaps which extend out and down and now you're increasing the wing area from uh, from here as being your original wing area to this so you're increasing your wing area a lot plus you're increasing the camber of the wing that's that curvature of the wing so leading edge slats and f in conjunction with flaps they also usually work together they increase the aircraft's capability of flight at slower speeds they create more lift at slower speeds. They create higher drag, but they create a lot more lift at slower speeds. So, to, to, I guess going back to the question, the leading, to, to the comment, the leading edge slats uh, increase angle of attack? No, they don't. No, they don't. They decrease angle of attack. However, they allow the airplane to fly at higher angle of attack because that's not to say that the leading edge is increasing the angle of attack. The leading edge slats by themselves being deployed actually lower the angle of attack as we saw before over here, just by dropping the leading edge. So now your cord line is, is tilted down. So, however, like I said, if you now increase the angle of attack and your wind is now coming this way, the relative wind is now coming this way, the slats allow the airplane to fly at a much higher angle of attack 
because now you have air coming under here between the leading edge and the wing and adding energy to this airflow over the wing. So you're adding energy to this boundary layer which tends to get turbulent as you move back. You have new fresh air coming in through here and adding energy here helping that air remain laminar and stick to the wing longer, delaying stall and allowing the, the airplane to, uh, to fly at lower speeds. So because you deploy the leading edge slats, it allows the airplane to fly at higher angles of attack. But to say that the leading edge slats increase angle of attack, I think that is incorrect. Not changing anything else, if you just deployed leading edge slats, that would actually decrease your angle of attack. But on the other hand, because you deploy the leading edge slats, now that allows the plane to fly at a higher angle of attack. I know I've said it a few times, but <laughs> I hope that makes sense. And yeah, I hope, you know what? I hope this starts a, a um, philosophical debate on this channel because I, I, I like talking about this sort of thing. Um, it's kind of a flight theory then that I think it's interesting and if you're watching this so far <laughs> you do too um, now let me know if you agree if you disagree your 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 point of view uh, the theory behind it um, counter arguments let me know I'll uh, I would love to hear what you guys think about this if you agree with me or or if you disagree let me know too we'll uh, we'll hash it out we'll discuss it all right, take care, guys. See you next time.